Christian with Ace Appliance out of Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. So today we're going to be working on a over-the-range uh, GE microwave. Customer complaint is uh, it's getting power, it's not heating up though. So we have a, a container filled with water here. We're going to go ahead and set it on for one minute and see what happens. So first thing, I can see it spinning. It's supposed to be heating up right now. I hear the magnetrons energized. It's making a hum. We'll give it a few minutes here and see what happens for a few seconds. Go ahead. So we had it on for about 47 seconds. Um, the water is still uh, room temperature, so we're going to go ahead and test a couple of uh, components inside the um, microwave. First thing we want to do is go ahead and unplug the unit up here. Next thing is there's two Phillips style screws that hold the grill on here. We're going to go ahead and remove them. Once you've done that, the grill should just pop off. Next, there's one Phillips style screw that holds the control panel on. Go ahead and remove it. Slide the control panel up and out to remove it. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is we want to test the uh, voltage output coming out of the control board. So we want to make sure that it is sending the power to the magnetron even though we hear it. Okay, so go ahead and close the door. You can go ahead and put your voltmeter on the power terminal here, or relay. And with the unit off, you should be getting 120 once you energize the unit. The 120 will go away as you hear the magnetron came on and it is powering the magnetron. The diagnosis for this appliance is it needs a new magnetron and diode. Uh, it's not heating. The heating element, which is the magnetron, has failed. Whenever you replace the magnetron, you also have to replace the diode and vice versa. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.